Brian Forbes. In fact, when she walked down the aisle, not only was Brian waiting at the altar, but this acting legend was also in tow. Mm -hmm. Where do I drop you? Now, my girlfriend doesn't answer the phone, so I suppose I... Well, in that case, I prescribe, as you've had a nasty shock, a large martini, followed by an even larger dinner. I never read that in any first aid manual. <laughs> you never read mine. Now, hands that do dishes are sitting opposite me. Please welcome Nanette Newman. <laughs> now, let's, let's clear up Roger Moore first, because he was at your wedding as well, wasn't he? Do you know, he wasn't. He wasn't. Now, this is the most extraordinary thing that's built up. Everybody says, how wonderful to have Roger Moore as your best man. And even Roger said to me, I now know that I was your best man, but I was never there, so I don't know how that's... <laughs> How's it got I out? wish he had been. I don't know. But you see, there you we go. We pride ourselves on the 80s show of, of accuracy, you see. Well, there you are. But I'm happy Rubbish. to say it. If it, it if is. It, he wasn't there. He wasn't but there. But you did work with him in the same. I did. I did indeed, yes. Ah, well, there's you. The list of, of legends that you work with is phenomenal. With Catherine Hepburn, which is yes. the one, of course, I suppose everybody wants to know about. I mean, what was she like to work Well, with? she was extraordinary. I had a small part in the film uh, that Brian directed, Mad Woman of Chaillot, yeah. and that was the first time I'd ever met her. And she was a, a quite unique woman. And do you know, Alan, she did the most amazing thing. I think you'll find it amazing. She rang me uh, one day after the film, and she was rehearsing for the uh, musical of Coco Chanel to oh, be yes, off yes. Broadway. And she rang me and she said, uh, listen, uh, would you like to come to Paris tomorrow and have lunch with Coco and me? <gasps> I mean, an invitation you couldn't refuse. And um, she took me to have lunch with Coco Chanel in Paris the very next day. And it was quite a bizarre occasion because there was Coco like a prune. She was very old by then, but she was like a preserved prune, masses of wrinkles, bright red lipstick, this black hair, in a Chanel style, the Chanel suit, lots of pearls, long red fingernails and jewellery, and she epitomised chic. Mm. There was Kate sitting next to her, who was going to play her on the stage. Kate had lost weight, so she'd got a pair of old baggy trousers done up with a safety pin. <laughs> she'd got a T-shirt, very shiny face, no makeup. And you know how she used to wear her hair coiled yes. up with a cap on top? Yeah. Spencer Tracy's old sweat around her. And there were the three of us, and I sat looking at these, and I thought, isn't it amazing? There was Kate playing this extraordinary woman. <laughs> a bizarre piece of casting, but I gather she was brilliant in it. It's, it, it rather explains the wide span of your career then, doesn't it? From Chanel, lunch with Chanel, <laughs> to Fairy Liquid. I know. Always years ago. I know. Did, a, you, did you think twice time. before you agreed to do Fairy Liquid? Because it's sort of lived with you, hasn't it, in a way now? Well, I think ads do a bit, and, and it's strange because it's 50 years, mm. actually, this week. They're celebrating 50 years. And, you know, I've still got the same bottle ad all those years. Last so have, you oh, oh, wonderful. have you made it into anything yet? <laughs> yeah, well, Blue Peter, of course, did, didn't they? What they would have done without your bottle. I don't know. With, uh, Blue Peter has got a lot to answer for, <laughs> I think, with that. Yeah. But, no, it, it's... Um, well, like you, Alan, you, you did an ad. It does change your life a bit, doesn't it? It sort of opens some doors and closes others. And I think perhaps that's the interesting thing in our business in show business because you do certain things and then you move off in yeah. different directions so i did move i in think being direction. adaptable is a thing isn't it really? i think that's the word films have been very good to you. i mean you, you met your husband brian forbes uh, on such a film in fact more that's true i thought yes, <laughs> i'm going into a lot no we never no, did. I did no i so did what film was that uh, it, it was a film, he was, he was starring in this really terrible film, it was a B picture, oh. and I was 17 and I'd gone along to meet the um, uh, director and I was standing at Re Marlebone Shunting Yard, I had to go oh, along Oh, how romantic. Interview. It doesn't get more romantic no. than that, does it? Marlebone Shunting Yard. And I'm waiting yard. there and there is this handsome, wonderful young man committing suicide under an oncoming train for this scene. And I'm thinking, my goodness, this is incredible. Anyway, he comes out from doing this scene, and I said, oh, how do you do, Mr. Forbes? I'm, he said, what are you doing here? And I said, I'm hoping to have a part in your film. And he said, 
but this is the last day of shooting. I think you've come here under <laughs> false pretenses, so it wasn't a very auspicious... Uh, and I just thrown myself under a train. Under a tra <laughs> but it so worked out in the it end, It worked then. out, yes. We've been together a long time. Well, and, and now, of course, loads of children's books coming from your pen. Yes, Gosh, and last it. time I came on your programme, mm -hmm. I was talking about my next children's book, which has finally got off the ground, and it's going to be published it's later in the year. Called which is, what? It's going to be called um, What Will You Be When You Grow Up? And it's illustrated by Emma Chichester, and I, you know, I'm so thrilled. It's another, going to another one with children's yes. sayings. And, and it's like funny because you've moved, you write books and everything. Yes, I do. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do when I grow up either. So I should be reading. I'm it. just wondering about you, you yeah, know, no. because after that cook, after that cake you cooked last yeah. Thursday, that chocolate cake, yes. I feel a cookbook coming on there, don't you? <laughs> I feel a cookery <laughs> item coming on. I feel, oh, I should watch that. Ladies and gentlemen, Nanette Newman. <laughs> Thank you.